everybody! So, Frogger 2 is finished, and I got a big Let's Play coming up for the entire month of October, and I have one week where I didn't have anything recorded for videos to upload. So I've decided we're continuing my adventures of playing really old PC games that I played as a kid that nobody cares about. And we're going to be playing another Blue's Clues game. We're going to be playing the legendary Blue's Clues ABC Time Activities. And I'm hopefully not going to get a copyright claim on this one because I don't know why. But I, when I played the Blue's Birthday Discs, my red disc video was fine, but my yellow disc video was the one and only video that YouTube was like, nope, you're not allowed to have this. We're, we're making sure nobody can see this. And I'm like, why? They're like, oh, just trust us, but there's copyright content. I'm like, where is it? They're like, yeah, we're not going to tell you. It doesn't make sense. So hopefully we avoid the copyright content here. But yeah, we're playing Blue's Clues today. I hope you guys enjoy. I mean, it's made by Humongous Entertainment, so how bad can it be? Ah, uh, yes, I, I love the still image of just everybody, but they're blinking. Hey, Steve! Oh, hi. Hey. You're just in time. Blue and I were working on our word books. Okay, what the heck is that? <laughs> Every you book is a help? word book. Duh. Great. Come on. <clears throat> hey, Blue. Do you want to hear my story? I mean, well, I just duh. made it up from the words we collected, so it's, you know. Okay, here goes. I have a friend whose name is Blue. Yeah, She's makes sense. Cute and little and loves me too. Why did you read that so slowly? Did you like it? I guess. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, right, Blue. We still have to find words for your word book. So you can make up really cool stories, like me. That wasn't a story! I'll help you, Blue. I'll help you get some words. Thanks, Tickety Talk. Right, I'll be right over here, reading a really great book. What? Hey, I think that one the, the Pulitzer. Blue find words for her word book? Yeah, you can count on me, Steve. Great, because, you know, I have a feeling you could make some pretty amazing stories. Well, thanks. I have been okay. thinking about writing a visual See novel. See you later. And I think Steve just pieces out for the whole Let's rest start with of the one game. One of our favorite words. Your name. How do you know it's one of your favorite words? To make your name. And even change their color. All right. Click the... here to take a name away. When your name is ready, then click here to play. That's right. This is a game meant for very young children, so they talk slowly and frequently. <laughs> yeah, this is basically a collection of mini games that we're going to be playing for related to Blue's Clues. And I think Steve is just not really in this one after the intro, which is good because, man, those Xerox lines are not looking good on him. It's interesting because I've got the screen and I've got the recording screen of what's actually being recorded. And on the main gameplay screen that I'm looking at, Steve was, he definitely had some Xerox lines, but it wasn't that bad. But uh, recording wise, man, he had lines everywhere and gigantic ones at that, so. All right, here, I'll pick blue and I'm already, there we go, let's play. That's what we're here for. Let's go see some of Blue's friends. All right, well, you know me. I like to start with the food. Let's start with Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. This way. And I do love their accents. Boom, boom, boom. Blue, we have been to the grocery store. What do you think your friends want for snacks? Well, let's see what we have. Oh, no. My snack list. It is ripped. A lot of the letters are missing. We will need some help. Will you help us? Of course. A half a kiwi, cucumber, a pear, an egg, What's and a juice next? box. Starts with this letter. Z. That letter makes this sound. Z. Okay, I know how Z's work. I guess this is not a cucumber, but a zucchini. Zucchini. Yep. Can you put the snack on one of the plates? Thank Boom. you. Is this the snack we're looking for? Z. Z. Zucchini. Z. Yes. You're so smart. What snack 
Starts with this letter. K. That Man, letter these are some healthy like individuals K. in the house. They're like, it's like, what do you want for a snack? We're going to the grocery store. How about a zucchini? Said nobody ever. Kiwi. Thank you. Let's listen to the sounds. K. K. Kiwi. Yes. Wee wee. Yes, Blue. That's it. Our friends will love these snacks. There they go. I just have to realize, is this... Oh, good. It's Shovel and Baby Yum. Bear. Snack time. Oh. Baby Bear was not impressed. We got cherry tea. We got milk, a peach, a hot okay. dog, and ice cream. Listen closely. I am looking for a snack that starts with this letter. V. That letter what? sounds like this. V. None of these would start with V. Unless this is not what I think it is. Soda. Soda? Milk! What? Peach. None, none of these start with V. Hot dog. Vanilla ice cream. Oh, you're saying it's vanilla ice cream specifically and vanilla not ice just cream. ice cream. Can you okay. Listen? Thank you. There we go. Let's start with our letter. Listen. V. Yes, I know. I know. Okay. Stop patronizing me, Mr. Salt. Okay. Listen closely. Okay, I know the milk starts with M. Thank you. They, they want some dairy. Listen. Okay, somebody's getting the ice cream, and they're getting off way better than everybody else. Blue, it's a good thing that they can't give the okay on the snacks until Blue says yes. It's magenta and baby bear. Baby bear is just mute in this game, apparently. Also, this, that's his second snack. Okay, a bagel, a waffle, a tomato, an apple, and peanuts. Starts with this letter. W. Waffle. Does that start with our letter? Listen. W. W waffle. Yes. How about you just have the people come up here and be like, Oh, hey, a bagel. I, I like that. Starts with this letter. T. Man, who's get, whoever's getting the tomato is definitely getting the raw end of the stick. If it's like snack time, here, like this person next to you gets the waffle. Already, you get a tomato. I would be very, very annoyed. Oh, look, we have a word for the word book. Okay, dog. Nobody's ever heard of that word before. I always have time for snack time. I agree, tickety tock. Okay, yogurt, carrots, or I think maybe. What snack starts with this letter? Okay, that's a. lemonade. Is this the snack we're looking for? A. No, that's iced tea. L lemonade. L it starts with that letter. Yes, we all, we, we know how to spell. Starts with this letter. Watermelon. We got it. Oh yeah. Listen. W. <laughs> Imagine being in Blue's house and it's like, oh, it's snack time. It's like, what do you want for a snack? It's like, I want a watermelon. It's like, what? It's like, I mean, uh, I want a snack that starts with W. It's like, they'll say pick watermelon, right? It's like, okay, we got you. <laughs> we got you the white milk. It's like, Baby Bear, that is your third snack. What a pig. <laughs> Ugh. Banana. Carrot. Cupcake. What, what? Snack starts with this what the heck is this? Rice. Oh, just rice? Just plain rice? Okay, that looks like mush. And also, rice. are we in Asia? There are no chopsticks here in America. Which I know Blue's Clues America? takes place in America. Jeez. Or some fictional location that is heavily inspired by America. It actually takes place in Steve's imagination. Jelly beans. Yeah, who the heck, who the heck would eat a banana, a carrot, or plain white rice when you could have a cupcake or jelly beans? Also, what are we doing with all of the uh, food that we don't serve, everybody, Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper? We throw it in the garbage can. <laughs> Baby bear, this is your fourth snack. What a P.I.G. And blue, add that to your workbook. Um, that could be a lot of things. Donut. What? What snack starts with this letter? X. That letter makes this sound. I'm sorry. Is this what I think it is? Sushi. Sushi? Are we in Asia? What the heck? 
What kind of... Everybody in Steve's house, other than Steve himself, is like a kid. And I guess Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Dersault and Mrs. Pepper. They're adults. Everyone else is like a young child. No child that I know in America would ever want sushi. Especially, it looks like this is genuinely the raw fish kind of sushi. No way. Let's listen to the sound. What? Sushi. Man, they're putting a lot more effort into some of these Please, snacks compared to others. So, uh, we, we made sushi from scratch. Uh, so we made this sushi from scratch. We but like made this donut from scratch. Oh, and we also just bought some olives. So some of those had a lot more love put into them than others. Either that or they bought the sushi from the store, in which case stay away from that. You do not want to eat store-bought grocery store sushi. You're gonna get sick. And we spelled another word. I have a letter for you. It's the letter F. For so Mailbox has had two snacks, and Baby Bear's had like five. Actually, only four. Ooh, a hamburger. A salad. Oranges. Okay. A muffin. Listen closely. Does that start with our letter? Listen. F. Salad. <laughs> no, we wanted sandwich. That's the snack. So those are raisins. Starts with this Are these kumquats? Wow. Jeez, did they buy like one of everything at the grocery store? They're like, all right, we need a couple snacks for the kids. How about kumquats? It's like, what? All that digging in the sand made me hungry. Well, that's understandable. I also don't know. How long these are gonna go on for? What snack starts Bagel. With... Does that start with our I don't know how long these games go on for, or if like there is an end to them. I'm not sure if it's like you need a certain amount of words for Blue's Notebook. I also don't know if I am formally gonna call this a Let's Play or not. I'm just gonna make free videos on this game, and it, that's gonna be that. <laughs> oh, a snack that starts with H. Hot dog. Listen to the sounds. That is one sad looking pineapple, I just gotta say. Thank you. Are we gonna spell bad? Oh, slippery slope. You're a little bit of a poet there, eh? Okay. If someone else wants the lemonade. It's not really a snack, it's more just a beverage. Lemonade. I wish there was a way that you could just skip that. Raisins. This is a healthy snack. Well, the lemonade has sugar in it, but raisins are quite healthy. I like taking raisins, M&Ms, and peanuts and making trail mix. It's delicious. And actually gives you some protein. And it fills you up. Oh, we spelled bag. Okay, Blue, you have cat, dog, and bag. Those are the only three words you can use in your book. Okay, S Slippery Slope and Soap and Magenta have also kind of eaten a quite a few snacks. But that's also because we're just only playing the snack game over and over again. Let's let's change up the scenery a bit. Let's go and play a different game. Snack time's over. Yeah, everyone's had like five snacks, so this is this is acceptable. Oh, uh, whatever. Let's play with shovel and pail. Here we go. Here, we're going outside. Work off the calories from snack time. We made a game in the sand. Can you follow the letters to find us? It's literally just a straight line. The way to go. Just follow the letters of the alphabet. There's only one way you can go. This is our, the path's already in the way. B B the green C D E F G H I J This is a very boring game. I'm not gonna wait for them to finish saying each of the letters. You made it! That you literally had the path organized for us. Oh no. We have to go through the entire alphabet every single time. Oh no. I'm <laughs> That's not gonna get boring fast or anything. I J Oh my gosh, and we have to play through this game three times just to get one word. Because we're only giving blue simple free letter words. Eventually, when Blue wants more advanced words, like Octagon, that's gonna- we're gonna have to beat the games a whole lot more. Also, you can print out the screen if you really want to. 
We had to listen to them say the letters while we clicked on them. Do we need to hear it again? <laughs> they just really wanted kids to learn Good the alphabet, to I guess. Too, Blue. Click on shovel or me if you'd like to play again. All right. Well, will it actually be different this time? I mean, oh, okay. So now I, I guess it's at least a little bit different where there are some branching paths and you don't want to take the ones that mess up the alphabet, but it's still going to be the same. We click on the alphabet letters, Blue slowly, very slowly hops over to Shovel and Pale, and uh, they very slowly read out all the letters of the alphabet to us a second time. Yeah. Is there a way to skip this? Oh, there is! Oh, that's great. You can just click and to skip it again. It's good to see you too, Blue. Click on Shovel or me if you'd like to play again. Yay. Get to work. I am not playing this game nine times. Blue, here's another tricky path for you. Will you help her find which letters to follow? Yeah, this, this is still easy. There we go. This is really easy. <laughs> also, not particularly fun. I do remember there was one mini game here that actually is pretty fun. Hey, we spelled dad! I'm sure my dad is so proud of me for doing this with my life. <laughs> All right, Shovel and Pale, yeah, that, that game kind of stinks, honestly. I don't see a whole lot of replay value there. 